tell you nothing is too hard for God. Sarah, are you barren like Sarah? Are you barren? Has the clock of your womb gone beyond? Have you gotten to menopause? Sarah will tell you nothing is impossible with God. Have you been mocked because you are barren? Have you been called that barren woman? Yes, your days in this conference, the life for a baby. You will deliver a baby. You will hold that baby. For 25 years, she waited for that baby, Isaac. And she was 90 years old when the Lord answered her prayer. You will be, your prayer will be answered. You will be a mother, another testimony that the Lord is is for her. The Lord came through for her. She was disturbed. She was, her marriage was destroyed by Hagar. Is your marriage destroyed because of Hagar? Because of her presence in your life? Hey, I have good news for you. There's nothing impossible with God. Hagar will be driven out of your marriage. In this Women's International Conference. Hagar will be no more in your marriage. You will enjoy peace in your marriage. You will enjoy your husband, the husband of your youth. And you, who will I call you Hagalin? You know, Daddy told us that we are Jobalin. Remember yesterday? We are Jobalin. Now, you, husband, who is probably the Hagalin. I am here to tell you, your wife has been taken away. She will be brought back in Jesus' name. In this conference, your prayer will be heard. Amen. Do you remember the story of Anna the prophetess in the book of Luke chapter 2? She got married and her husband died when their marriage was just seven years old. Despite that, she continues serving the Lord with fasting and prayer in the temple. The Lord remembered her. Even when she was 84 years old, she never gave up. And she happened to see the redemption of Israel when Jesus was presented in the temple. You might be here a widow. I want to assure you, the Lord has remembered you. The Lord will visit you. The Lord will wipe away your tears in Jesus' name. 
Listen to what the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 11. It says, leave thy children, leave thy fatherless children. The Lord will wipe away your tears in Jesus' name. With God, all things are possible. We serve the God of impossibility. With God, there are not, nothing is impossible. Remember the story of Rahab in the Bible. Rahab, for several years, was a prostitute in the city of Jericho. The Lord, and from that singular encounter, the Lord changed her story to glory. The Lord will change your story to glory in Jesus' name. You shall have an unusual encounter, and you shall testify to the goodness of the Lord in Jesus' name. the story of Anna. Hannah, the mother of Samuel. This is a woman who trusted in the Lord. If you read your Bible, first Samuel from chapter 1, verse 1 to 20, you will see how she trusted in the Lord and in verse 20, the Lord finally answered her prayer. Have you been despised in your marriage, in your working place, in your family, in your neighborhood? Name it. I want to assure you today that as you have come to this conference, uh, 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 Oremo Holiness Women Conference 2021, you will never go back to say in Jesus' name. Yeah. Penina has second despised her, but Anna never gave up. She trusted in the Lord. As you are here to trust in the Lord, in this conference, the Lord will visit you. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will grab that your heart desire, that your heart cry to him in Jesus' name. It is not over until God says so. For Ruth, it was a hopeless situation, but she never gave up. She held on to God and followed Naomi to the land of Israel. And today, we could read in the Bible that the savior of the whole world came through her lineage. I don't know you are here, you came for this conference. I don't know the hopeless situation that you came with. The almighty God will meet you like Ruth. He will turn your story around in Jesus' name. And you will never return the same in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Queen Esther, I want to speak to you. Queen Esther was an orphan girl living with Mordecai in a strange land as slaves, no hope. But she was a holy child. She was holy in character. She lived the life of discipline. She lived the life of obedience to Mordecai. And she was also a prayer warrior. She used to pray vividly and fasting. And by her life of holiness to God, God honored her. A single lady like you. At a point, Esther became the wife of the king of the land. And when an enemy stood up to destroy her and her people, the king stood up against the enemy and destroyed him. I want to let you know that if you are born again and you are living a holy life in this place, whatever is your problem to you as a single person or even as a married person as Esther when she had married the man, God of heaven is going to handle it for you. You will never leave this place the same. He's going to do for you according to the desire of your heart and his will in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that the desires of the righteous shall be granted. Elizabeth was the mother of John the Baptist. The Bible says Elizabeth and her husband, they were righteous walking in all the commandments 
and ordinances of the Lord, living nameless even to their old age. And at the end, God remembered them. God answered their prayers. As we have come to this conference, you know, Jesus is here. He will answer your prayers. He will bless you. No matter the situation you are in, don't give up. Elizabeth is telling you, don't give up. You will give back to greatness. God will answer you. God will hear your prayers and your cry as you continue in righteousness. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Mary, the mother of Jesus, who, who was a simple woman, she received a message from God through angel Gabriel. Mary didn't doubt. Mary just said, let it be done according to, uh, to God's word. Are you a woman? You came here with a message the Lord has delivered to you. And you have been wondering how it's going to be fulfilled in your life? Just believe. Exercise faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Believe it shall be done. As much as you have come to this conference, it shall be done according to God's word. In your life, in Jesus' name. Mary and Martha will tell you that the dead can live again. They were friends of Jesus Christ. They loved him. They worked with him. They believed in him. Yet, they lost their brother Lazarus to death. In that situation, they were never discouraged. They were never distracted. They kept on trusting in the Lord. Are you here this morning? Trusting God for one thing or the other? I want to encourage you to keep on believing him. I don't want to know what that situation is. I don't want to know what the problem is that brought you to this place. But I want to assure you that in this very conference, the God of heaven will bring back everything that is dead in your life to life in Jesus' name. Doctors will tell you that God will never forget hospitality. Your good deeds to people. When doctors died, you were sick and died. The widows gathered in the upper room. They refused that doctors should not be buried. They begin to intercede, begin to pray. And Peter came and prayed upon Dorcas. And Dorcas was revived. I'm here to tell you, women, that as you have come into this conference of 2021, that you will be blessed. That all your deeds, God will remember you for your good deeds. In Jesus' name. Amen. The woman with the issue of blood will, will tell you that when all the physician fails, God can never fail. Are you here with a report from the doctor? I want to tell you that the great physician will come and give you the report from heaven that passed the one of that your doctor in the name of Jesus. So what I want you to do, just to make up your mind and walk with the Lord and be ready to be that woman that will break the record in Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen. Shall we rise and 